Dobro jutro, moje draga. Sasha, Divine Pisces, 222. Yeah, happy hump day. It is Wednesday, August 21st, 2019. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do an energy check-in for our Twin Flames today. Um, really weird dreams for me, guys, last night. I don't know about you, but it's, it's really weird. Uh, I haven't really quite interpreted it yet. Uh, all I know is it's really weird and a little disturbing, so... Uh, anyway, alright, well let's go ahead and get started here. Um, yeah, both twins, again, feeling pretty impatient. Um, feeling um, Divine Masculine again in that feeling of, of needing to flee. Um, needing to run. Needing to get out of his head at this point uh, it's uh which of course a lot of uh, this perceived idea that he's in trapped somewhere or he's imprisoned is all in the mind so he is very much in his head today i feel uh divine feminine yeah definitely feeling like she's in her head a little bit um focusing on her divine masculine, uh, really just trying to figure out what he's doing. Um, I do feel that she is feeling him very strong today. Um, feeling the pull. The pull has been pretty strong, I will say, at least for me, for the last couple of days, mainly in the heart chakra, which this is green, so this rec represents to me the heart chakra here. I do feel like there is some pulls there or some pulls there, so, um, yeah, definitely mirroring going on right now, too, um, Divine Feminine, um, you know, she's still trying to reground herself a little bit, um, she's been kind of feeling, I would say, I don't know the term for this, a little floaty, like, you know, just kind of moving through space, you feel like you're in a dreamlike state a lot, uh, so you need to kind of reground yourself a little bit, um, Divine Masculine recently, I feel, have, has had some tower moments, so he is rebuilding that. Um, you know, he feels, he again, feels very trapped here. Feels like he's being smothered. You see the, see the roots, how they're entangling her. So feeling a little smothered here. Also, this is telling me here with the leaf, okay, we got fall coming up. Um, so some of you, I feel there are going to be some wrap ups to some karmic cycles coming up very soon within this next season. Um, maybe next 60 to 90 days here on both divine masculine and divine feminine side. So that's good. Let them end guys. Let them end. Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine both feeling very, very pulled in two different directions. I do feel that there are some Divine Feminines out there who are mirroring their Divine Masculines in their karmic situations. So instead of worrying about what's going on with your Divine Masculine in his karmic situation, take a look at your situation. What's making you feel pulled into two or in two different directions, right? Um, so. You need to kind of reevaluate that, um, figure out what you need to do to clear out some karma because I do feel Divine Feminine has some very strong karma here, possibly past life karma. I do again feel like Divine Masculine is, and Divine Feminine are communicating with each other in dreams here, being shown some things. Um, and this is very interesting because I saw a post from Jupiter 1111 from uh, Divine Unicells where she, she does a lot of inner child work um, and stuff like that on the weekends. It's really, really good. And I can link that um, video um, in the description box talking about inner child work and, and doing it for your divine masculine. And are, you, are the feelings that you're feeling yours? So uh, I do feel that divine feminine is feeling a lot of, uh, you know, stuff coming from divine masculine. Maybe you're having some memories, childhood memories that are not yours. Okay, uh, that's a thing. I know I've had a few of those and it really kind of freaked me out because I'm like, I don't remember that, but it was so vivid and so real. 
that it, it, it physically affected me. I was very emotional when it happened. So um, doing that inner child work, you're doing it for both of you, right? Because you, you share an energy field. So keep that in mind. Um, yeah, so both both parties here feeling the fire, feeling the passion. I do feel Divine Masculine is fantasizing, <laughs> to put it nicely, about Divine Feminine right now. Um, Divine Feminine is probably feeling this again, you know, pulls in the sacral chakra um, here, um, which is very, very interesting. But Divine Feminine, you know, also still kind of feeling a little bit a little bit frustrated, so you need to get out of that. Um, but yeah, she's definitely working on some of these messages that she's getting from Source. I do feel a lot of signs, a lot of synchronicities coming. Um, so a lot of messages. Open yourself up to that. Open uh, up your chakras to, uh, especially the head chakra, to receive it. And then, of course, the third eye to interpret, throat to speak it, so on and so forth. Okay? All right, let's take a look at Divine Masculine, see what's going on in this 3D space today. Holy shnikes. Oh my, it's a lot. Okay, yep. Yeah. So Divine Masculine definitely wanting to come in and, and talk to his Divine Feminine, offer her something. It could be an apology. It could be a tangible gift. It could be just an explanation. Something that is is real and true. Anyway, he's not really quite sure how to do that. He is so rooted in the 3D right now. It's like, yeah, he's back in that place of he wants to move, but he just doesn't know how. He really doesn't. He's got to get out of his head. And and uh, Divine Feminine, you, you can help him with that by working on yourself and figuring out your own stuff. But yeah, Divine Masculine is really taking the cues. He's trying to take the cues from Source to come in and tell you his truth. He wants to cut away all the crap that's in his life, right? But he does feel that it won't be enough for you. He's feeling a little insecure in his truth. He really, really wants to talk to you. He wants to talk to you. He just, he just, it's fear, mostly. Fear is holding him back. He's afraid you're going to reject him. A lot of inner child wounds here. A lot of masculines with I hate to put it this way, a lot of masculines with daddy issues here. Okay. Uh, yeah, and, and, you know, this whole idea, and he's starting to figure this out, this whole idea that um, the material makes you happy, these things that he's built, you know, and he's looking at this stuff that he's built, and he's like, you know, I'm really not, I'm really not happy. You know, he's connecting the dots here, and he's realizing that all of this stuff, all of this stuff that he has in his life is not important. And that's really good. That's a good step. That's a really good step, okay? Um, so he's he's back to this this where he knows he needs to make a decision. Um, and he's he's trying to let he is actually at this point trying to let the divine guide him a little bit. Okay, he's starting to release that ego, he's starting to kind of go where the winds blow, so to speak. Um, his third eye is kind of starting to kick in here, showing him the things that he needs uh, in order to make this decision and take the blinders off because he's been kind of in that state of, I don't want to see it, I, I don't want to think about it, out of sight, out of mind. But now he's starting to realize how important this connection is, okay? Whether he knows the terminology, he may. He may know the terminology. Like I, I've said this before, there are some divine masculines out there who are actually researching this. Maybe something you said to him is is making him um, look into this a little bit more. Maybe he's watching tarot readings. I don't know. Um, but I will say that there are some divine masculines out there who are educating themselves and may actually be a little bit more aware of the connection than they let on. Okay, and they understand how important it is. Okay. Um, and it's starting to, uh, they're starting to understand now why they feel the way that they feel. And it's, they're waking up, essentially, okay? Uh, so these tower moments that they've been having, you know, here recently have really been um, illuminating a lot, okay? So uh, they've been going through this. They've been feeling really down, really insecure. Those foundations have been shaken. Of course, the divine was coming in and stepping in and, and, and helping these collapse here. 
okay? And I, I do feel there are some more coming, but this last one I think was really, really hard for this particular group of Divine Masculines. So they're rebuilding that, but they, they, they had some aha moments, right? So everything is kind of being illuminated for them. The way is being shown uh, because of these towers, you know. And there are still some Divine Masculines out there who are deceiving not only uh, themselves, but those around them. You know, they're deceiving themselves. They were deceiving themselves, remember, because they were denying the connection. They're like, no, 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 this is crazy. This isn't real. Blah, 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 right? Just in their heads, the ego was taking over, right? And then, and now it's like they're deceiving those around them because they're pretending to be happy and they're really not because they're, they're, they don't want to hurt the ones around them. They don't want to hurt uh, the ones around them that they have a spiritual connection with, right? And that, that's just part of, of ego. All right. So let's take a look at Divine Feminine today. Oh, cards are talking. They are talking today. Goodness, I really don't want this to be a long read, guys. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so mirroring. Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine also, um, you know, everything is starting to become illuminated for you. I feel like a, a lot of Divine Feminines are really overcoming these towers. They're kind of in a place of um, acceptance and peace um, and understanding the journey and, and moving forward spiritually. And that's exactly what you need to do, okay? Um, so that's that's really good, okay? That's really good. Overcoming those towers and rebuilding yourself uh, so that you feel a little bit more stable, okay? Um, so definitely really, really grounding themselves, really making sure that um, they're not too rooted in the 3D, okay? You want a balance of the two, uh, understanding that all this stuff it really doesn't matter, right? It really doesn't matter. What matters is the journey and the spiritual part of it, you know, and they're looking at their divine masculine and they're remembering and they're reminiscing, but, you know, they're also trying to do them be their best to stand in their own power so that their divine masculines can step into theirs, right? Uh, so stand, stay in your power, stand in your truth. The wheel is spinning. Everything is moving the way that it should, okay? Um... You know, you're, you're following spirit, you're letting spirit guide you, um, you know, past the, the karmic situations, past the danger, into, into the light and into the truth. Page of Swords, okay, so mirroring again. Divine Feminine, need to really stand in your power, okay? Divine Masculine really wants to talk to you, okay? If you're feeling insecure about your truth, he's going to feel insecure about his truth. Remember the mirroring. Okay, so get back to where you were. Um, remember your truth and stand in it. <clears throat> I do feel that communication is coming for a lot of Divine Feminines. Uh, divine Masculine really wanting to communicate, okay? Spirit is guiding this. Um, divine Feminines, there are some Divine Feminines who recently probably tried to reach out to their Divine Masculines. I know that's been a thing here recently. So reciprocation is coming, all right? So just hunker down, do your thing. Try not to worry about it. All right, anything you need to clear out in your life, any decisions that you need to make in your life that, um, that need to, you know, for the better, need to happen now. Try not to be indecisive about things. Use that third eye, you know, pay attention to the things around you and make sure you're making the correct choice, okay? Now, keep in mind that this is, this is divinely guided, so when we say correct choice, you know, you want to use that inner guidance, okay? Try not to use the ego. Now, if you make the quote-unquote wrong choice, okay, all that's going to happen is you're going to have a tower moment. It's going to bring you back to the path where you make the choice again, okay? So try not to make the same choice, okay? You want to make the choice that your inner guidance is telling you to make, okay? All right, so try not to worry too much about it, all right? Um, so, yeah, some karmic cycles definitely needing to end here. Um, Divine Feminine, I feel like you have been kind of juggling a little bit. I do feel some third-party situations here, you know, kind of afraid to to really let go of the 3D stuff so that you can take that leap. But you're you're getting there, you know. You, you are regrounding yourself. Um, I feel like, you know, you were moving forward, moving forward, move forward, and then kind of stopped a little bit. And, and a, a lot of that probably had to do with the fact Divine Masculine was going through towers and you were feeling that, and I get that. So, you know, you have to keep in mind that when you mirror you know, you're going to feel these things. You just need to reground yourself, okay, and reevaluate why you feel the way that you you feel. 
um, and stop holding on to the negativity. Stop holding on uh, to the things in your life that no longer serve you. You need to let this stuff go. You need to let it go so that you can move on, okay? Uh, karmic situations, you know, um, things in your life, codependencies, things like that that you don't need. You need to let it go. Page of Pentacles. All right. All right, let's get some messages from our Divine Masculines to the Divine Feminine Collective today. I'm using Lover's Oracle. I haven't used these in a while. Mm -hmm. Freedom. You have freedom. There's nothing stopping you. Everything that you perceive is stopping you is all an illusion, okay? You are, look at this, you are the lotus, see? Divine is guiding you to your happiness okay so let it let it all right and remember balance okay you got to balance all you know the good and the bad the dark and the light the positive and the negative whatever you want to call it male and uh, masculine feminine you have to balance that within yourself right your yin and yang okay so as you do that your divine masculine is going to come into balance as well okay um, so release negativity. Make sure you stand in your truth. Remember your positive and you know and look the flame right there. Okay, looking toward the flame, turning your back on the negative. Okay, so make sure that you are in your truth. You are moving towards the light. You are listening to spirit. You're listening to your inner guidance. And don't be afraid of the cycles that need to end. Okay. Life is about cycles. Spirituality is about cycles, karmic cycles. You need to let those end. Go with the flow. Try not to control the situation. I know it's easy to do that, but remember, when you try to control the situation, that's out of ego, right? So make sure that you stay out of ego, okay? You need to reground yourself, okay? All right, let's get some messages from the universe here for our Divine Feminine Collective today. Release fear and bring love, okay? Um, if you're feeling any sort of negative feelings towards your Divine Masculine, release that. There's no need for that. Don't judge him, okay? Don't judge him, all right? He's going through it, and he just, he's having a hard time, so just remember that, and hold true to your vision. Manifest. Hold true to what you know, okay? You know what the truth is, so stick to your guns. You've got this, okay? Don't let the naysayers come in. Don't let negativity come in. Um, some of you are feeling stuck. Remember, adjustments are required. Do your inner child work. Do your, your chakra clearings, you know. Remember, um, the good things that you have in your life and don't relapse into fear. Release the things that need to be released so that you can move forward, okay. It's very, very important that you release the negativity, okay. And anything that needs to end, let it end. Get one more. Yeah, conclusions are within reach, okay? Um, so the answers that you need are coming. You guys are doing the work. You're doing exactly what you need to do. So yeah, conclusions are within reach, guys. You guys are doing the work. You're doing exactly what you need to do, okay? So just stay strong, stay in your truth. Everything's going to be fine, all right? All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. If this has resonated, please like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Those of you who have booked private readings with me, I really appreciate it. I have a couple that I'm uh, finishing up for today. Um, so thank you so much and hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.